blinds to the truth. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 Whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the glory of the gospel of the glory of Christ, whose image of God should shine on them. This week, we are considering a few of Satan's tactics against the believer, ways and means by which he seeks to gain entrance and carry out his diabolic works in the lives of believers. And so we trace through the book of, uh, of 2 Corinthians, where we had seen yesterday in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, the Apostle Paul tells the Corinthians, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices or schemes or mind games or tactics. And so as we progress in 2 Corinthians, we find Paul exposing some of Satan's tactics. In chapter 4, he gives us understanding that one of his tactics is to, is to blind the mind. Uh, of course, in this, in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, Paul is talking about how Satan blinds the minds of those who do not believe. The effort of Satan there is to prevent them from seeing the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, of course, that same tactic applies to, towards believers, where he, does, he tries to blind the minds of God's people uh, in order to prevent them from being exposed to the truth. He doesn't want them to come to know the truth. Jesus put it like this in, in the parable of the sower in Mark 4 and verse 15. He said um, that the, as soon as the word is sown, he's talking about the people on the wayside, he says Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown. So Satan doesn't want the word to fall on and, and take root. He, he wants to keep people away from knowing the truth. So he's seeking ways and means uh, to keep that word away from people. So we must understand that uh, ignorance, at least in, in spiritual things, is not a blessing. Uh, ignorance is actually a disadvantage. And Satan tries to keep people, God's people, in ignorance. He tries to keep them blinded to the truth, uh, keep them away from knowing uh, the truth uh, of the word of God and of what Christ has accomplished on the cross and the promises of God and the blessings of God and the power, the authority, and our identity that we have in God. If he can blind believers to the truth, then it keeps them in a position of disadvantage and Satan can gain entrance uh, to work in the lives of people. So it is so important for us to teach the truth. It is so important for God's people to hear and know the truth and to receive the truth as given to us in the word. The knowledge of the truth puts us in a place of advantage over the enemy. He cannot gain uh, a hand, an upper hand over us. So pursue the knowledge of God, pursue the truth of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us understand the tactics of the enemy so that we can be on guard. We can walk in authority and dominion over Satan and all of his demons. As we are receiving the truth and walking in the truth, we will walk in our authority. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.